Hey lovelies, summer is nearly here and of course that means it is time to get our grill on. Today I've got five incredible chicken marinades that are just perfect for the barbecue. What I love about all of these is that they only involve a few ingredients and they really add a ton of flavor. Now the secret to marinating your chicken is really all about time. So the longer your chicken can sit in the marinade, the more delicious your dish is going to be. Now I'm getting started today with a really simple apple Dijon marinade. For this one, I am starting with some apple butter. You can usually find this in the jam section at your supermarket. If you can't find apple butter, not to worry, go ahead and use applesauce instead. That will totally work. Next, I am adding a good helping of Dijon mustard. I'm also adding some thyme leaves. Now I'm using dried thyme in this recipe because if I'm being really honest, I ran out of fresh. When you're using dried thyme, you only need about half as much. I'm also going to hit this with some much needed salt and pepper. Give that a whirl and pour my marinade over my chicken. Make sure it's well coated and then get it into the fridge. You'll wanna let this sit for at least an hour to maximize flavor, but of course, overnight is ideal. Then it's just a matter of grilling it up. The sweetness of that apple butter mixed with the tanginess of that Dijon mustard is such a gorgeous combination. Definitely on your must try list. One important safety note guys, once you're done marinating your chicken, it is really important you discard the leftover marinade because it is no longer safe to eat. Next, I'm blending up a simple chimichurri marinade. Now, if you have never had the pleasure of eating chimichurri, you are in for a serious treat. It's only made with a handful of ingredients, but it is serious on flavor. It all starts with some gorgeous herbs in our food processor. I've got a ton of flat leaf parsley happening, and I've also got a big handful of cilantro. To that, I'm adding some shallots, some garlic, and some chilies. You see where I'm going with this. How could it not be delicious? I'm going to add a splash of red wine vinegar for some acidity, a little bit of olive oil, and some salt and pepper, and give this all a good blend. I'm gonna get this on top of our chicken, let it hang out in here for at least an hour, and good things are gonna happen on that grill. This stuff is bursting with flavor, and it is equally good with steak. I also will tell you, you don't even need to use it as a marinade, you can actually just use it as a dip after the fact, and it is still just as delicious. Next, I've got a really tasty Indian-inspired tikka marinade. It all starts with some plain yogurt in my bowl. To that, I am adding some lemon wedges. Now, the great part about this marinade is we don't even have to get fussy about it. You don't even need to zest or juice your lemon. You can just pop the wedges right into the marinade. To that, I'm adding a heaping helping of chopped red chilies. I've got a couple cloves of garlic minced here. I am also using some freshly grated ginger. And you just know, freshly grated ginger, there's nothing quite like it. It just brings a marinade to life. Next, we are going to add just a little squeeze of honey for some sweetness. I'm going to give this a salting and a peppering. I'm also adding a beautiful blend of Indian-inspired spices. So I've got a combination of ground turmeric, some garam masala, I've got some smoked paprika, some cumin, and a little bit of clove happening here. I'm going to give this all a really good stir and then get my chicken marinating. The finished chicken has a ton of really great spice with just the right amount of heat. It also is really tender thanks to that yogurt. Next, I've got a sweet and spicy apricot jalapeno marinade. It all starts with some apricot preserves. Now, you can use really any kind. You could use peach here or pineapple would be really delicious. To that, I'm adding some minced jalapeno. Of course, this is a great place to control the heat. You can add as little or as much as you want. I'm also going to add some lemon juice, a little salt and pepper, give it a good whisk, and over my chicken it goes sweet, spicy deliciousness. I just can't get enough. This marinade is really, really versatile. Try it with your favorite jam and let me know how it goes. Finally, guys, I am making a coconut chili lime marinade that is oh so good. It all starts with some coconut milk. To that, I'm going to add some freshly chopped cilantro. Now, because this is a marinade, you can actually go ahead and use the stems of the cilantro. It's a great way to use them and not have any additional waste. Next, I am adding some chili peppers that I have finely minced, like so. I'm also going to be adding the zest and juice of one lime. You put the lime in the coconut. I'm also adding some honey for sweetness and some salt and pepper. 
Give that a whirl and you end up with a marinade that is just loaded with bright, fresh, summery flavors. I promise you, this coconut chili lime chicken is definitely worth the marinating time. I really hope you find these ideas inspiring and that they will help you step up your grill game this summer. If there are any great marinades that you love, be sure to leave them in the comment section below because I love hearing from you. If you do try any of these ideas, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo because of course I love seeing your kitchen creations. The full recipes are in the description box below so you can take a look for them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more summer deliciousness where this came from.